this is how is at conferences. You have two remarkable talks, and then you have one which is not very good. Jim just put me in misery because he said that meta-analysis you cannot interpret. I partially agree, but we'll talk during coffee break. And you just blame John, John Sivan. I, I have many, so you will find some. Uh, so anyway, so but I try to compensate with this kind of fancy title and with a couple of jokes. So I have to ask you to joke, to laugh. I'll joke. Uh, so that's beyond poly, just grain or super grain. So let's see. Let's walk through. Uh, so we in Croatia. I love Croatia. I come almost as much as Jim because I was born here and I stay a long time here. And they kicked me out to Canada for David Jenkins. He's sitting there and smiling. Uh, and, and, you know, this is country of fashion. You see my clothes from Croatia. Best soccer in the world. Uh, uh, good seasons, not like Canadian. Medical nutrition care is cool, they say. But what about country? I love country, beautiful country. And it's small but nice. So they say that oats barley is a mantra of healthy eating. Somebody told me. Uh, but, you know, there was a guy, Samuel Johnson from, uh, from England. He said... A grain which is in England is generally given to horses, but in Scotland supports the people. And then, and then the Scottish guys say, yes, and where else you will see such horses and such men? <laughs> David, you are from Welsh, so don't worry. Yeah. Uh, so this is my conflict of interest. I don't have conflict. I don't do much, except I have patent on fiber on the bottom. And, and, and I have nothing of this, but I ha I'm very proud. I make a legend of myself. Uh, so anyway, conflict of interest with topic fiber. I love fiber. Uh, it's rec recommended, insufficient, and clumsy. I, I can tell you that the American Diabetes Association do not recommend fiber anymore. And they say you have to take 50 grams, not to affect diabetes, but to affect maybe LDL. And they call, again, David, I mentioned it three times. It's too much. They call on David, David portfolio study, which, which is not really fiber, but a lot of fiber. Anyway, so public, we have to talk about quantity versus quality. I, I'll mention something about this. Food uh, or fiber could be consumed for treatment, but if you know to select fiber, you can even do, do prevention and treatment, so not, not only prevention. And oat and barley is, is good for community, very popular industry, and you can research a lot, but what about the individual consumer? So what I'm talking about on the bottom, you see, it's only my opinion because you will see it's everything wrong, nothing to do with my institution, nothing to do with the industry. So my talk, uh, I realize I'm not going to make all this. I'll be, I'll be saying something about fiber, maybe not. Then I'll show you meta-analysis on oats and barley, uh, on all LDL, kind of new R meta-analysis. And then I'll continue, if you, if you don't kick me out, then I'll talk more about meta-analysis, meta-analysis, meta-analysis on beta, beta glucan oats barley on glycemia, body weight, and blood pressure in context of other viscosoluble fiber that we just published. Then what is pale, I'm not going to do. We did long-term study, beautiful, I'll tell you next year, uh, on oats and barley. And then I'll tell you what you can take home if you go home. Uh, so this dietary fiber, the most investigated materials in, in history of medicine, they say. And I started with Kellogg, Pectin, Guar, a uh, lot of studies in England and, and Scandinavian country. Oats is here. Now psyllium fructooligosaccharide is, is darling of industry, doesn't do anything to product. And then, then more recently, fiber blends like our group and concentrated, also our group and some other. But I'll be talking about oats and barley. So fiber uh, all started a long time ago, 1963. You may not see on the bottom first study. And then later on, on barley was 2003, much later, study on cholesterol oil on barley. So the first, uh, first meta-analysis coming from Boston. Everything is coming from Boston, like Simon Lewin uh, here. Yeah. And, and she did wonderful study, and she did something which we are now trying to do, look at many different fiber, in this case, oats meta-analysis, you can see a reduction 0 0.032, 
but this is very little of LDL cholesterol. But if you, if you can see, you see fiber minus one gram, so per gram of fiber. So that's, that's probably pretty good. We don't show this anymore except us. Fiber has been approved first in the United States, then sleep in Canada, my country where I live now. Ten years later, just they copied their recommendation that EFSA did the same also 2010, 11, Malaysia, uh, South Australia. And apparently everything was coming to the United States. One meta nasal rips in, in JAMA 1992 showing the three grams of beta glucan reduced cholesterol. So let's start with boring topic, many meta-analysis, more recent, so that's what we'll, I will torture you with. We'll look at the, at the fiber LDL, diabetes, obesity, blood pressure, and then in, in context of fiber, but there will be more on beta glucan oats and barley. Just to remind you, uh, I mean, Jim, I put this slide because of you. Uh, uh, systematic review is on the top of, of evidence, strongest evidence, and this feeds this clinical practice. And, and who I learned this from and who helped us in meta-analysis is, is these two people. Uh, this is John, this is in his working clothes. He's a little shy, you can see. And, and Sonia, they help us a lot. They have this three, four D, whatever number of Ds. Uh, and they are obviously uh, Egyptian guys. Uh, they didn't approve these images. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, Anyway, so this would be more or less what, we are, what, what I am trying to show based on randomized clinical trial. I'm not showing methodology because we've seen methodology. I'm not very familiar with methodology. I'm not going to talk about that. So they would be on diabetes. They would be in context of these fibers, uh, six beta-glucan studies, lipid. On this own 56 oats, barley 13, whole grain, you will see this blood pressure. Uh, beta glucan and other fiber obesity. So we'll be, we'll be, we'll be kind of only of fiber, but basically where our beta glucan fits. So we did meta analysis a couple of years ago with oats beta glucan. And I'm showing segmentally because we have 56 studies. These are the most investigative, basically, of all fibers, especially with beta glucan, obviously. Uh, so these are, these are effects of beta glucan uh, in normal cholesterolemic effect. Then you have effect, you can see on the left side of the curve, uh, people with cholesterol. And then I'll show you summary, if I can move slide, I can. Uh, so basically, in 56 studies, uh, four grams median quantity of beta-glucan reduced LDL for 0.219, and in all applicants, and so this is the effect. So this looks pretty good, and we know this. This is my girl from my lab uh, did. Then we did barley study. Uh, this is all because there are only 13, 14 studies, so there's a hypercholesterolemic. You can see significant reduction, unclassified significant, and overall effect you can see on bottom 13 studies, 5.6 grams of beta-glucan from barley, so they give more barley, LDL higher 0.25 because you give more material. So people, we, we are confused with meta-analysis because they, they give different quantity in different studies, but these are 5.6. So this is kind of a uh, summary, what I just said. Um, so all this all number, which are repeating the reduction and in different categories. So I don't want to bother you. These are the summary of the slides. So I love to show this, and I, I get this from this guy on the left. John gave me this, whole grain, because we all love whole grain, especially epidemiologists. Sim Simon is laughing like uh, too much. Epidemiologists showing whole grain, but when you look at the randomized clinical trial, you don't see much. And this is slide John, John gave me generally. See, these are all kind of whole grain, so wheat mix, uh, uh, rye, uh, barley, oats, and rice. And you can see there is a little, a little reduction, significant reduction of uh, LDL. Where, 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 when you remove this from the, from the equation and you have oats and barley taken out, you can see that you lose significant because 50% of the weight of all these studies actually based on barley and oats. So those are the best whole grain, and I think they are they're in the wrong category with other pretty innocent material. So oats, barley confirmed in, in Canada. I'm just giving you this free of charge. This will be coming next week in American General Clinic in Nutrition. Psyllium does well, 0.33, but just to give you a little kind of extra. Then we look at fiber and diabetes. Again, we look at all fiber and then in context of uh, beta-glucan. Uh, this study uh, is in type 2, type 1 diabetes, uh, over 1,000 people, randomized clinical trial, 
uh, dose, uh, eight du a week duration, different fiber, beta glucan among and giving as food and capsules. So uh, color coding, I'm, I apologize, they are, they are differently present slides. The color coding is uh, showing which, which study, which fiber was, was used. And, but the, the bottom line, that there was a significant of all viscous fi soluble fiber that we, we study, we found in the literature, it's a reduction of 0.5 hemoglobin, which is pretty nice reduction, you want more, but this is pretty good for, for little fiber. Then when, if you look within this study only for beta glucan or hemoglobin A1C, you can see that reduction is 0.48, but it's not significantly, unfortunately, unfortunately for beta glucan. And again, if we now uh, uh, remove beta glucan from all fiber, then the then reduction of hemoglobin will be same. Just that you see what is in, in the context of all the fasting blood glucose, similar, all, all this fiber that we study, uh, reduction is 0.93, one millimolar is great reduction of fasting blood glucose. Uh, uh, beta glucan didn't do great, 0.5 of these, but not significant. And, and again, when we remove, it's a better effect. Why I'm showing this, this is how we present the data. We look at the gram per fiber, uh, and you can see I put this for hemoglobin and glucose, basically based on, because studies with beta glucan use small quantity of beta glucan. You can see per gram, you can see here on the side, per gram of, of fiber, the biggest effect, the strongest effect per gram is on hemoglobin, beta glucan, on fasting glucose, and HOMA beta glucan. So they're, they're doing pretty well. And uh, Elena has fiber, uh, gram of fiber poster if you want to see. Uh, she's presenting weight and I'm not presenting it. So then we look at blood pressure. Again, all these fiber that we study, beta-glucan, psyllium, guar gum, conjac, all we found in literature, pectin, the reduction of blood pressure is 0 0.6 and that was significant. Uh, and then when we look at the systolic blood pressure of uh, beta-glucan actually, it's 1.5, not significant. And then again, when we remove uh, beta glucan significance improved. Um, the stolic blood pressure, sorry, I skip. The stolic reduction of all fiber, 0.4. Uh, beta glucan, 1.2, but not significant. A lot of uh, heterogeneity or something. And uh, without this, uh, without uh, beta glucan is bad. Obesity. Obesity, all fiber, again, beta glucan, psyllium, guargan, conjac studies. Uh, there is 37 studies, randomized clinical trial, reduction is 0.2, but significant, little but significant, all fibers, so fiber can do something to obesity. Again, the same way of showing beta glucan 0.3, not significant, uh, and then uh, without beta glucan 0.3 uh, reduction. Uh, and the last one here is waist of all fiber 0.4 centimeters, uh, uh, not significant. Uh, uh, here, beta glucan does well, reduced 1.23 centimeter, which is significant, and without, without beta glucan is not uh, good. So, conclusion so we are still alive. So, the power of food, oat and barley, uh, don't eat before seeing the next slide. <laughs> so, anyway, take a risk, jump in porridge, enjoy. So, this is the summary table. And I, I, won't, I won't bother you too much except to say that nothing of this, according to this more recent meta-analysis, uh, lipids were significantly, nothing of this diabetes, blood pressure was not significantly reduced with beta-glucan itself, barley and oats type of study, except on the bottom you can see that uh, uh, waste was significantly reduced by beta-glucan uh, material. So I'm talking about beta-glucan, I'm a small guy, there are more people talking about fancy. I misspoke maybe. Still people are eating this uh, uh, barley oats. There's one vegan there and one McDonald's. So this is my wonderful team. And enjoy your beta glucan, I guess.